Welcome, my child. Hello and welcome. My name is Ivan Place and this is the FA-18C Hornet. It's a new jet in Ravenfield. Way too detailed for its own good. Yet we're gonna jump in and try it out. Its skin is awesome. Nice coloring. My map has bugs. And inside we have a detailed cockpit and a buggy backside, but that's fine. What do we have inside? We got a machine gun. That sounds pretty awesome. And we got targets seeking rockets. Kachunk! Was that a hit? I don't think so. Let's find another target. Uh, there we go. Come on now. Yep, two hits. One hit at least. Ow, that was close. And finally we have two bombs. Uh, let's find us a target and actually use them. There we go. And drop. So how is that, huh? Oh, nice! Alright, let's see what the machine gun can do against ground-bound air units. Nothing much when we are being shot down. Whoa! I think our model is not losing its wings yet. Let's try that out one more time. And here we go. Alright, machine gun time. Okay, gotta work on that. 120 rounds is what we get. Let's make better use of that this time. Ah, crap, too wiggly. Ah, uh, for crying out loud! Alright, I really suck at this, so let's instead find a, an air target. Oh, okay, okay, these things are way too slow to properly give us a target to shoot at. Haha, <laughs> this wing is cuddling. Okay, these planes are freaking kamikaze masters. What even is this? I guess it happens when you have way too fast planes. Oh no. Oh no. He dances around the bomber. Oh, and he lifts off! Haha, <laughs> fantastic! Oh yeah, this is nice on this bright, bright map. Let's see how we can uh, use this against other fighters of the same kind. That ought to be interesting. And... Sh what? Right, come on now. Kachunk, kachunk, kachunk! Kachunk! Come on. Take him down, take him down. Don't despawn. Keep flying. It's worth it. This is a flight sim. This is not Ravenfield anymore. And now I'm catching up with my rockets? What is this? Alright, we got a target right there. This is a bit insane. Just a tiny bit insane. I don't know, as soon as an enemy plane is too fast... Machine guns on planes are basically completely useless. Is this the same midair? Probably, right? So I guess it provides a realistic experience, although this one is smoking. So that's nice. Ooh! Ooh! Oh man, I actually got this one down! What a beauty. Come on, blow up, blow up. Blow up! Blow up! Time to lose your wings, buddy! Okay, it just despawned. What a disappointment. So this was the FA-18C Hornet, taken from Battlefield and squished right into Ravenfield. BF3 to be exact, by Sweet Eagle and Flame Supernova. At least they're open about their sources. Oh yeah, of course, we cannot forget about this. I nearly did. Sorry about that. Oh yeah! It's kind of easy with a plane that fast and that slick. 
Do you remember the T-54? I don't know if this was already there back when I first tested it in perhaps my first Ravenfield Custom Vehicles video. Or if it is a new addition, but you can have people sit on the outside of a tank. And you probably know of different armor being used on different tanks, one of them being human bodies. Oh, look, and we have some uh, enemies doing the same thing. That's, yeah, one shot takes it out, but the armor is quite good, so they do survive for quite a while. Thankfully, this one did not shoot us first. Solo shot first. Crunch, crunch. Yeah, unfortunately, we did lose our buddies. But we can just sit there ourselves if we really want to, which is a stupid idea. Really not a good idea at all. Blam and miss. Hey, you know what? You should totally exit and enter this... Well, no, enter... No, enter this tank. Ah, crud. Oh yeah, and I forgot. We have a second weapon. Which has the wrong icon. So that is that for the update on the T-54. But now we have a much more important thing to do. In case you're wondering what I'm on about, I'm talking about the helicopter. I'm talking about the DGCL, the helicopter that has five additional seats to the pilot. You can just drop your troopers in it and then hurry on to the enemy base. And I'm flying way too high right now and way too unprofessional and risking our lives extremely but you can just uh, drop them off here well okay that was the very bad version of how you do it but basically we just took the enemy base in seconds all right this time we're gonna be a little safer and less riskier we're gonna survive this with our helicopter intact let's go Oh, that was a close one. Very close. I'm just gonna let you guys leave here. There we go. And hopefully you survived that all. Alright, the flag is ours, that is good. Let's land carefully. And load them back up. Come on. All right. No, yes. And we are off. Okay, they took this base up here. Let's take... Okay, okay. Teammates are already taking it back. And we are down. That is not good at all. All right, I, ca I just can't do it. The maker of this helicopter did an awesome job. You have to check out his video. Link is in the description of this one. Just amazing how he took a whole freaking map. Man, that that video, you gotta take a look. And now we're gonna fly with a BBTAD, the Big Bad Thought Air Destroyer. This insanely slow bomber has been buffed. I presume these bullets are stronger. The bombs are definitely stronger. Let's see what happens if we use them close to ground. Huh? Actually, not that crazy. I thought they were supposed to be nuclear bombs or something. But let's try them out right here. And two hits. Nice. Yeah, the best thing about this bomber is that it just survives crashes with the ground. As you can see, its wings come off, but these arcs. But its arcs, which are like a remodel edition, they stay on. So that's how that uh, bird goes down. Let's try to actually read some of this. The Big Bad Thought Air Destroyer was the anti-Thoughties Defense Force's choice for taking care of Big Thoughties. The BBTAD is a bomber that carries a powerful arsenal and impressive armor. While it might not be the fastest aircraft, it didn't stop it from squashing the thoughts on the battlefield. The BBTAD was developed by the ATDF during the Great Thought War. It was produced during Operation Dam Daniel. Operation Dam Daniel took place in Paris, France. The ATDF just began the assault on the city when suddenly the ground beneath the soldiers' feet began to shake. ATDF field officers and commanders ordered the troops to fall back to the outskirts of the city. Suddenly a massive human-like monster crawled out of the ground. This thought was roughly 50 meters tall 
went fully out of the ground. ATDF commanders ordered the ATDF soldiers to open fire on this massive thought. However, the massive thought used its white vans, tennis shoes and squashed ATDF men and vehicles. If they didn't squash the ATDF soldiers, they would cause them to go insane. This massive thought would constantly blabber on about Vine videos and other thought-related stuff. It is believed that TUM, Thoughty United Militia, developed this creature and was combat testing it to see if more should be made. So this is some crazy story writing right there. The ATDF was able to get a large amount of men on the outskirts of the city and were using the heavy artillery to delay the massive thoughts approaching their positions. Once the ATDF HQ got word of a massive thought that could resist most gunfire was closing in on the ATDF position, the science and enemy department took action. They combined the outdated pre-war bombers with the newer ATFC aircraft and created the BBTAD. The BBTAD was deployed as as a last hope for the ATDF. If this mission failed, the ATDF would have to retreat from Paris, resulting in a massive lose for the ATDF troops. The BBTAD, along with several ATFC, flew from the airbase in England to the city of Paris. It looked like the ATDF aircraft would not make it in time, with ATDF forces near the city running out of supply. However, right before the commander called for a retreat, the BBTAD came in and dropped all 10 of its highly powered fusion bombs right on the Thought's white vans. The Thought screamed in range, its white van tennis shoes were dirty. The Thought got back up and was attempting to hit the plane with its fists even though it was far out of range. The BBTAD turned around and made another run, which crushed the Thought, turning this massive creature into a pile of dust. The BBTAD is still used to this day and is considered a flying fortress. So there's a Steam group for this uh, universe. Also check this out. First I was a printer and now a thought? Really? I'll say one thing though. When I said reskin, I think I meant remodel. Incidentally, there's also an ATDF uh, anti-air tank, which is probably the wrong word, tank. Pretty cool things. It would be even cooler if the barrels would uh, rotate. No idea if that's what they actually would do. And uh, look at this. So much shooting power, but unfortunately the bombers are very very powerful. That's uh, the first problem. The second problem is that we cannot really lean back up very well, so we can't really aim right above us. I don't think we will actually be able to take down even one of them, but we certainly need to try. The bigger problem here however is that the AI doesn't know how to use these yet. That is very sad. My teammates are not using their tanks at all right now, but hopefully that's just a beta bug and hopefully a Ravenfield thing and not something the vehicle maker has to fix. So one of them we did take down at least. Good for us. Next up the FV4034 Challenger 2. Quite a massive tank by Andy F21. Looks quite cool. Is quite massive. Um, reminds me of that one Israeli tank that is, uh, has M in its title. I'm not even sure it is an Israeli one. Anyways, looks a bit less modern though, and the camera, the control of the cannon is really horrible. But that's a Ravenfield thing. But the bullets are super fast, which is super cool. We can actually take... yeah. One shot is not enough, but this is pretty good. Ah, alright. So this is quite effective against bombers actually, because it does so much damage, the bullets are so fast. And the bombers are so slow. Oh. The controls of a cannon are really cranky though. <laughs> nice. Whoop whoop. Oh yeah. Alright, time for something lighter. Time for the cartoon plane. Where even is this coming from? I don't know, but this is ridiculously cool. A bit broken the model. Alright, let's see, we have rockets. And the wings are wrong. And this plane is angly. But at least there's a lot of them. Too bad the colors don't change. They really should adopt to the team color that the pilot is on. Alright, can we take down a plane? No, we cannot. Let's try though, let's try. Not with these rockets. The bullets seem to be much more efficient. Oh, 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 it's smoking, it's smoking hot, and it's down! Let's get closer and enjoy the view. 
Yeah, the wings are coming off incorrectly again. And we're gonna find a new target. Let's try the rockets. Maybe we can actually get lucky with these. You an enemy? I see. Grrr, said the plane, not even moving uh, the rotor. Right, no hope in hitting anything with these rockets. Maybe on land, though. Nah, kamikaze is better than that. So yeah, cute, but quite unplayable so far. This plane was created by Microsoft for Remix 3D and I have put the Zero Animation model into Rainfield for everyone to enjoy. Oh my goodness. What even is going on? I think giving everybody this weapon was maybe a mistake. This weapon shoots planes, you know. Let's look at how they actually utilize this. Let's follow some of my allies and see how they use this weapon when approaching land. Surely the frame rate cannot be that bad. 44, 39, 40. See this this plane there? That's a bullet, in case you didn't realize. Because that's all the weapons they can use right now. Oh no. One of the planes took him down. Took him down with one shot. Here we go! Come on, plane! Ah! Come on, play. Come on, play. Ah! That was a close one. So this is a just a plain old rifle. Get it? <laughs> no, 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 no. And that's how we reload the plain old rifle. If only I could get a shot in, that would be awesome. All right, whatever. You can just take me down if you want. Uh, looks like these planes are really low on damage. That's pretty cool. Actually, they don't, don't, don't do any damage at all. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. All right, then we have some turret mods. This one is just a weak version uh, of the regular... Hello? Really? The reload time is incredibly long and I, I can I just can't do anything with it. Well, we'll look forward to an update. From the same pack, this here gun, which I cannot I cannot look where I shoot anymore. Uh I mean Right, so the bullets look different. And the mag, I don't know what else might be different. Hopefully we will find out later. Well, it's still in development. Alright, so the HMG is super fast, I see. And there will be a heavy fidget gun, so this is definitely worth subscribing now. Finally, take a look at this. Look at my hand. Nothing in my hand, suddenly there's a helicopter. This is the vehicle spawn pack. I mean, this is three of them. We can just place vehicles freaking anywhere. It's insane, I don't think they respawn after they spawn once. And you cannot spawn custom vehicles, only the regular ones, which is good enough for me. Instant tank, you're welcome. Bots will not use these by default, but they will use them if ordered to. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Same with turrets. Can't expect bots to use them on their own, but if you tell them to... But if you tell them to, at least one of them gets occupied. I don't know what's up with the other ones, they must have run off. Yep, they will just occupy these things if you tell them to. But if you just need a getaway vehicle or don't want to wait for the next respawn, you can just get this vehicle pack. Just make sure not to stack them. Unless you want to stack them because you want to glitch yourself into the skies, for example. That is a thing you can do. I mean, sure, why not? Um, well, obviously not because then you get shot easily. Oh! Oh, that's, that's nice! If, if the people would stop shooting me, that would be even nicer, but still, what a nice little glitch we have here. Oh man, I bet I, I, bet I can make it to the ground and survive. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes! Nice! That would be such a neck breaker in any other game. That was awesome. And just look at this cute, cute little, little, little tank. Oh, we need anti-tank stuff. I don't know what up, what is up with the uh, camera here, but hey, free anti-tank, freaking heck, come on, man, free anti-tank tank rockets, can't say no to that, really, wow, resilient little tank, 
There we go. Hey, you. Secure this uh, base with these. Thank you. But uh, freshly spawned AI also doesn't use these, simply because these things are not in the uh, mesh. The thing that calculates which, uh, what is where, I suppose. Quite the insane weapons pack from Headcrab. So this was today's quite insane vehicle collection. Make sure to check out the next one. Until then, ciao! Man, this, this boy has moves. Take it! Yes! Yes, you're going down!